you need to come on. Yes, you turn the volume up. Look. No, no. She's almost awake. She looks like she's waking up a little bit. She's sitting up in a chair. Mama, just get in here. Do not slam the door when you come in. Okay, I have to be quiet. That's the reason we're here, okay? Look, I already brought everything in. You just come in. But wait, get the tissues. Can you grab? I have a box of tissues in the back. Can you just grab it? Just get it. I, it didn't matter if they're puffs or Kleenex, Mama. Just get them. I don't remember what they are. Just bring them. Okay, don't slam the door. You know, it makes that loud bang. You gotta be careful with it. Uh, she's waking up. Come on, come on in here. Come on. I gotta get it. Get, just get in here. Bye. Hey. Oh my gosh. I, I really didn't want to bother you. Um. No, no. I, no. They let me in. It's it's okay. Yeah. Don't, don't, you don't have to get up. That's the reason I'm here. I understand that you've been dealing with a really bad, really bad migraine. And you have my sympathy. I, I know what that's like. And I wanted to be able to help you out. I brought you a few things. Now, don't, don't, don't try to get up. It's okay. Do you need anything? Do you want some water? Um... Does caffeine seem to help? Because, I mean, I could go get you something to drink out of the refrigerator. Um, uh, no. Do you have any? i tell you what. Mama's coming in right now. I'm going to tell her. Now, where is it? Okay. I'll, just let me. Come, come in here, Mama. Come on. Sorry about that. Just, just, okay. Just sit it down. Mama, it's fine. It's, you're not worried about the brand of tissues, are you? See, Mama, you worry about the weirdest things I swan you do. Just, it's puffs. Is that okay? It's puffs with lotion. Is that okay? See? You worry, but she was afraid you wouldn't like them because they have lotion in them. Mama, nobody cares. Just, I'm, I'm not doing this with you right now. I'm not going to argue. With you. Keep your voice down. She does not feel good. Nobody wants to hear it, Mama. Okay. Just, just sit. Sit down. Yes. Okay. She, she knows. She knows. Calm down. Okay. Yeah. Um. You're not really worried about her getting to bingo, are you, Mama? Nobody's worried about you getting to bingo. You can't get there on time. Yeah. She, I, I don't think she cares. Well, you know, she was... Okay. See, you're not too worried about the, them rearranging the store at Hamrick's, are you? Apparently, it's got a few people upset because the store's been arranged the same way for years. And they've rearranged it and put the jewelry closer to the back. I don't know why some people care so much, but they do. So, yeah, I'm not worried about it either. Mom, I need you to do something. I know you just sat down. I need you to do something, okay? Can you go into you said, the pantry? Go into the pantry. Look on the bottom shelf. Look on the bottom shelf, and there's going to be a 12-pack of Diet Pepsi in there. Can you get that? And find somewhere in the refrigerator. You can look on the top shelf and stick it in the refrigerator so they can start getting cold. Can you go do that? And you know what it might also help? It might help if you just take some of those cans out of that 12 pack. Because I find if you leave them in there, they don't get cold anywhere near as fast. Don't stick them in the freezer though, Lord. Because the rule of the universe is if you stick a can of soda in the refrigerator, you think you're going to leave it in there for 20 minutes. You forget all about it and it'll explode in your refrigerator. Trust me, you do not want to deal with that. Okay? Because it will get on absolutely everything in there. And it's a mess. And then it freezes. It's just a nightmare. Just take a few of them out. Just scatter them about in the refrigerator where you can find a spot. I think you can manage lifting a 12-pack of Pepsis and putting them in the refrigerator. Your arms are fine. Just go in there. 
Honey, if you can go to body pump three days a week, you can handle it. You've been bragging about your strength, so show us how strong you are, okay? I'm sorry about that. We, we didn't mean to bring our drama in here. She's been, she bought these tapes at a yard sale, and it's all about being more mindful. And she lists, it's like hypnotic, hypnosis stuff where it's subliminal and you listen to it while you sleep. And it's supposed to make you more mindful and calm. It has turned her into a nervous wreck. She's like a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I can't do anything with her. But I want her to come with me because we were out running errands. And I did hear that you were not feeling well. And I know it's hard for you to get out and do things when you're not feeling good. So I was going to ask you, um, first of all, is there anything else we can get you or do for you right now? Like, are you sure you don't want something to drink? Do you want to, you know, like something cool to put on your head? Or let me feel your forehead. I'm not going to press down. You feel a little bit warm. Now, I mean, it's a little warm in here, so do you, do you feel cold, or do you, do you, how do you feel, like, temperature-wise? Okay, good. Well, if you don't feel hot or cold, then it's, that's, I mean, that's a good thing. But I'll be honest with you, it's a little warm in here. I mean, to me, it feels a little bit warm. Well, Mama, if it was a 12-pack of Sprite, that's not what we needed, though, is it? She said it's on the shelf below the Sprite. Did you look on the shelf below the Sprite? Look on the shelf below it. We don't need the Sprite. Do you want the Sprite in the refrigerator? We don't need the Sprite in the refrigerator. Leave it in the pantry. She said that's her daddy's and just leave it in there. She just keeps it for him. You know they go bad after a while. They do. Those expiration dates actually mean something. I didn't think they did on sodas, but apparently they do. Well, I did bring you some stuff. Yeah, where are they? Oh, right in front of my face. It had been a snake. It would have bitten me. I don't know that I'd recommend doing uh, crossword puzzles right now. Well, I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but when I get a migraine from me, it always starts right here. Or right here and the pain just kind of radiates out and it just gets worse as the day goes on but I find if I try to focus on anything it makes it just makes the headache so much worse so if you're thinking about doing crossword puzzles I, I think you might be better off to just you know get some rest and you know close your eyes and just rest I don't think you need to be worrying yourself with crossword puzzles I mean I'll get them out for you but I just don't know that I would advise it, you know. Oh, aren't they pretty, though? But I like them. <laughs> Are you sure? Best I don't think you need to mess with these. Okay. Well, sit still. Okay. Well, now, um... She found the Pepsis. Is it Pepsi or Diet Pepsi? Diet Pepsi. Let's open it up. I, I did tell you to open it up. Open it up. Take some out. Stick them around in the refrigerator. They'll get cold faster that way. No, we don't put them in the freezer. Remember what happened? Yeah. I mean, that was three years ago. Jimmy's still talking about it. Every time he needs to find fault with me, he says, You remember that time you put a Dr. Pepper in the freezer? It's amazing the things men remember and the things they don't. He can't remember our anniversary, but he can remember me exploding a Dr. Pepper in the freezer three years ago. So, just open it up, okay? Open it up and stick them around. Okay. We don't need any cotton candy. Put it back. She found cotton candy in there. Mama, put it back. It's not good for you, sugar. Put it back. Now, I, I, I don't know, do, do you have any prescription medications that you take for your migraines? Yeah, me neither. I don't either. I've talked to my doctor about it, but a lot of them have these crazy side effects. And, and I mean, like, I just feel it's better as long as I can treat it with over-the-counter stuff. I just do that. 
Now, I, before I came in here, I went into your bathroom. I hope you don't mind. And uh, I grabbed some, some of your washcloths. I love the way you roll them. These are cute. It's like a little burrito. Get it. I brought three in here. That way, I have a pitcher of water over here. If you want to do like a cold compress or something, I could put some water on one. We could put it on your head. I could just, you know, press that there. So where is the pain exactly when you get, do you get different types of migraines or is it like the same kind? Or Okay, so um, do you think a cold compress would help with that? You know, even what, you know what mama does sometimes, she will take like some, some, some rag or something and put some ice cubes in it and she'll put it on the back of her neck and then wrap something around and she said sometimes putting a cold compress on her neck actually helps with the headache. I don't know if it's psychological, if there's something to it, but she said putting it on the back of her neck, like right back here, like take this. We could put some ice cubes in there and just put it back here on the back of your neck. Do you think you want to try that? I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try it. Hey, Mama. I don't need any jelly beans. Where do you keep finding this candy? Put it back. I don't care if it was in a bowl. Did you stick your hands in there? Well, at least you used a spoon. Mama, you don't need to be eating that. Now, please tell me that you're not going to... You know exactly what I'm about to say. You you said now when you go to bingo, you're not going to have any... You're going to have one hot dog and a bag of chips and water. That's it. Okay? You don't need to be eating all this sugar. I am not being mean. Listen. We're not here for you. And we're not here for this. Can you bring me... Look. Take this. Take that. No, I don't want you to wipe your face with it, Mama. Put it down. Put it down. Take this one. Do not, don't do anything weird with it, okay? Take this into the kitchen and put, you know, when you do your compress on your neck, how much ice do you put in there? Well, I don't know. Well, how big are your ice cubes? I hate to be so annoying, but I'll be, they're kind of small. Just take this and put some ice cubes in it, okay? And bring me a dish towel or something that we can wrap around it like we do for you. Yeah, we're doing that. So take, don't do anything stupid with it. Just take it, put some ice cubes in it, and bring it back with a dish towel. I'm going to let you sit down after that. I know your foot's bothering you. Don't, don't. Nobody wants to hear about your bunions, Mom. This is not about you. With all due respect, I love you. Everything is not about you. Okay? Just do the eyes. So, um, we're going to be out of your hair shortly. I do apologize. I just want to help. I just want to help. Look. We got your tissues here. We got your puffs. Now, this is a brand new box. Nobody's put cooties on it or anything. Um, I want you to keep this. Um, if you need any tissues or anything, um, do you, do you need any kind of, like, chapstick? I actually have a new chapstick in my pocketbook. Oh, I, no, I don't, I don't mind at all. Um, but keep this here. Now, I do like the puffs with the lotion in them because it doesn't hurt, like, if you have to blow your nose. Well, for me, sometimes when I get a migraine, it makes my nose run. I'll put that right there. Sometimes I feel like my brain's leaking out of my head when it does that. It just makes my nose runny. Of course, it could be allergies. I don't know. That's fine, Mom, as long as they're not falling out. Here. I'm going to take this. Are you ready with the kitchen towel? Do you want the one with the bunnies on it or the one with the green check? Either one's fine, Mama. It doesn't matter. Just pick one. I put this back here. That's fine, Mama. The green check is fine. It doesn't matter, Mama. You don't mind if it's frayed on the edge, do you? Okay. Now I want you to just take, you just take, 
take the corners of that dish towel and you can hold them, you can tie them, but it'll just kind of help that way if you shift around it all that, that little roll won't move. Is that, is that comfortable? Is it too cold? It may take a minute because it kind of sneaks up on you because <laughs> those ice cubes will start to melt and that cold water will start to come through. It'll probably feel different in about 20 minutes or so. Of course, if it gets to be too much, you can take it off. I mean, just thought I'd try it, you know. Have you been able to get any sleep? I find that if I get some sleep, it helps. It helps with the pain. Sometimes when I get migraines, it's so bad. The kids and Jimmy, they just have to leave me alone. Like, I just got to go back in the bedroom and lay down, turn the lights off. Like, don't talk to me. Do not turn that light on. Fortunately, I don't get them that bad anymore. I still get them some, but it's not too bad. Um, but, you know, I, I just, I hate to hear about anybody suffering. And I know that you can't, you don't feel like you can drive. So, um, I brought you some medicine. Now, I went in, when I was in your bathroom, um, I went ahead and, I went ahead and grabbed some stuff because I wasn't really sure. Well, you might want, and I didn't want you to have to get up and go get anything, so I wanted to have everything here where you could reach it. And I'm going to get a glass of water. Mama, will you get a glass of water? Well, I think that's a little harsh. I mean, you do, I, am, I am not hateful. Can you just get a glass of water? Well, I'm sure the Lord will bless you one day, Mama, for everything you've done. Yes, yeah, so... And you go to step aerobics and you're complaining about having to get up and down, but you'll do it for an hour for no reason. I do not understand you. I'm not going to have an argument with you here. Go get a glass of water. Do you want ice in it? No ice. Just cold. Do you, do you want bottled water or tap water? It doesn't matter, Mama. Whichever you feel like doing. Whatever you feel like doing. I, there is no telling what she's going to come back with. I should have left her in the car. So I've got acetaminophen here. This is extra strength acetaminophen from Welby. You got this at Dollar Tree? Didn't? No. This came from Aldi? That's right. I knew that. I knew that. So I've got your extra strength. This is like extra strength Tylenol. The little caplets. I'm going to put, do you need this? Why well, can't I I'll put that back? If you don't need it, I'll put it back. I also have from Equate ibuprofen. Now, do you use ibuprofen? Sometimes. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I do. Especially if it's getting on closer to bedtime and I'm dealing with a migraine. Because I don't know about you. Sometimes I get migraines that can go on for two or three days. And I have to just kind of keep it under control. You know, I just take something to just keep it calm. And uh, sometimes, but I don't want to take anything with caffeine in it close to bedtime. So I just take ibuprofen. So I've got your ibuprofen right here. I'm going to put that right here on your little table. And you make sure you can you reach that okay. Let me slide it over. I'll, I'll move that. I'm going to put it right there. I don't want to put it right next to the edge, but I'm going to scoot it back a little bit. Okay, that's your ibuprofen. And I've got your great headache relief. This is like Excedrin migraine. Did you, you know, you already know that. You don't need me to tell you that. This has your acetaminophen in it, just like your Tylenol. And it has aspirin in it and a little bit of caffeine per caplet. So, and this is the exact same stuff I use on occasion. But again, if it's close to bedtime, I don't take it because of the caffeine. So we got your big old bottle of headache relief. I'm going to put that right beside the ibuprofen. You can tell them apart pretty easily. This one has the red lid on it. And the ibuprofen is a larger bottle and has a white lid on it. So I'm going to turn them too with the labels facing you so you can see what you got there. Do you ever have trouble with your vision when you have a migraine? I do occasionally, but only if it's really bad. Like if it's like a really severe migraine, I sometimes my vision... It's not like my vision gets blurry, but trying to really look at something makes my... It's like it makes my eyeballs hurt or something. It's not like a headache. It's like it's like my eyes just hurt. 
So I've got that for you. So I will take, I will take this and I'll put this back in the cabinet so you don't have to worry about it. Right next to those bottles, I have an extra, a little washcloth for you here. This is a clean one. I'm going to leave it right there. And you can have that right there, okay? You got your tissues. Also, I put your glasses case right here. It's right behind that ibuprofen if you need to take your glasses off and if you want to put them back in the case. You can do that. Do you need any pillows? I, you know, you look pretty comfortable in your recliner, but you, do you need any pillows? Do you want an extra blanket? Um, I, I don't think that she cares if it's in an Elmo cup, Mama, but I do kind of wonder why you would choose an Elmo cup. It might cheer her up. Would it cheer you up? It's, well, if you already poured it, just bring We got an Elmo cup of water. Put it right here. We're going to leave it right here by the medicine, okay? I'm going to put it closer to you than the medicine so you can reach that. So you have a little bit of water there. Do you need a straw? No, okay. Mama, can you grab, where is it? Can you go in her room and grab, there's a, Mama, we would, I would think I was here to nurse you the way you carry on. I really should have just left you at home. I would have made a special trip to take you there. Okay, I know you gave birth to me. You don't, you haven't reminded me in the last 20 minutes, but thank you for that. Um, go in her, stop. Go in a room. There's a blanket on the chair next to the bed. It's, it's blue. Get that blue blanket, please, and bring it in here. Okay? Well, it'll be another little star in your crown. If you do it, just go get the blanket, bring it in here. Now, would you like that on your, on, do, on you, or you just want it nearby? We do that. I, you hear her muttering in there. Yeah, I know. She's, she's very put upon. She's pitiful, isn't she? <laughs> she's always the most pitiful one in the room. So, um, do you, do you, uh, do you need me to call anybody? Do you need anything from anywhere? I, I got time to go to the store. Look, I don't have another appointment until on over in the afternoon. That's why I wanted to come kind of early so we could go ahead and see what we could do for you. Because I, I hate to see you suffer. I mean, you struggle, I know, and, and it's hard to do anything when you're when you're dealing with a really bad migraine like that. And honestly, I would say, I mean, it's you know, it's up to you, but if I would say if you have a lot of trouble with migraines, I would seriously maybe talk to your doctor again about it. Maybe we'll see what I do is I keep a calendar on the side of the refrigerator and I make a mark on days that I have headaches and you know, like if it's really bad I'll write down a little note or two about it and then how long it lasted and if I had any other symptoms like nausea or anything like that because sometimes I get nauseous and sometimes I don't and there's like no rhyme or reason to it like I don't get it that's it is it blue it looks blue we'll bring it over here I'm gonna Thank you. I'm going to put this on your legs. To just see now right here. You can grab this right here. And you can pull it up if you need to. Just spread it out a little bit. There. Oh, isn't that nice? I love the way it feels. You know, you've got just a little bit of a chill. Just not really cold. Just a little bit. And you put on a little blanket or something. It's just this nice, snuggly feeling. It's, it's very comforting. Yeah, I like that blanket. Where'd you get it? They have the cutest stuff at TJ Maxx. You know, every time I go, I find something. Well, that's cute. I like it. I like that kind of lining it has on the underside, too. It's really nice, like that um, Sherpa lining or whatever it's called, that fluffy. Okay, yeah, I like that. That's pretty. I really like it. And so I've got that for you. And I also pick this up. I found this at a yard sale the other day, and I thought it was perfect for you. I know how you like beach themed stuff, so I thought I'll bring you this. It's, it's a little gift, and it says relax. Cause see, you get too stressed out about stuff, and I think it's important to have people in your life to remind you that you just need to relax a little bit. Just take a little time off from it. 
and just and just relax. So I, it's a it's just a little resin picture thing, and there's a little place on the back if you want to hang it up or whatever you want to do. I thought it looked really cute in your bathroom. You have all that beach themed stuff in there. I want to make sure I didn't forget to give. Oh no, I need one much. I think I paid like a dollar for it. And I made sure, I know you probably already have. Yeah, you got one right there. I made sure to grab one of these for you. Out of your bathroom, your C.O. Bigelow Cinnamint Mentha Lip, Mentha Lip Gloss. Mentha Lip Shine. And I'm going to put that right there next to your cup of water. So you can have your extra. Do you have, do you want to watch any TV or you should at least have the remote? Mama, can you find the TV remote? Well, I don't know where it is. That's why I asked you if you could find it. <laughs> well, I reckon it's over by the TV. <laughs> Perhaps. It's over. Look on, look on the entertainment center. It's, it's just a remote, Mama. It's a, it looks like a remote. Well, I don't know what exactly it looks like other than a remote. Can you look for something that looks like a remote? Oh, he's good. Jimmy's good. He's good. Um, he's kind of in between jobs again, and that's a source of uh, contention in the house at the moment. We don't talk too much about him. Mama's not too happy with him about it because he does seem to get between jobs a lot. Yeah, but he's he's trying. He's trying. You know, we were in therapy for a little while because we were trying to deal with some communication issues that we had. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, the therapist basically said, well, I wish y'all the best. I think I've done about all I can for you. I've never had a therapist be so honest before to just say, well, I've done about all I can. It's in God's hands at this point because nobody down here on earth can help you. I didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing. But I also brought this. I got your Turby Twist. Because I know... Well, I know how you like to get your hair up off of your neck. And see, especially now that you got that little wrap there. We can get your hair off your neck with your little Turby Twist. If you need that, I got you lit up there. Um, have you eaten anything today? Because I know it's like a del delicate balancing act when you have a migraine. Like you don't want to eat because you feel stiff. Do you have any nausea? See, with a little bit of nausea, sometimes I want to eat. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes the thought of eating makes me feel worse. But I find if you don't eat anything, you just feel worse. You know, you just start to feel even worse. So um, would you like maybe some crackers? Or, you know, something kind of bland. Maybe some apples. Well, maybe not applesauce, but... For me, I can eat just a piece of plain bread or, at, um, like, just crackers or something like that. Like, get those little plain pita crackers. Just with a little bit of salt on them. Those are good. Um, you know, just like some, some oatmeal or some grits or something. You do. Mama. Do you have any? Mama. You don't need to be so ugly. You're being hateful. Can you go in the kitchen and find some grits? Are they flavored grits or regular? You might want to go with regular. There are some packets of instant grits in there. In the cabinet. The cabinet with the grits in it. I don't know which one. The one on the far left. Go in there and get some grits. Do you know how to make them? I'm not calling you stupid. I'm just asking if you know how to... Okay, okay. Don't, don't be so loud. You want just one pouch? Can you make a pouch of those plain grits? Stick them in the microwave. Don't put the spoon in there. I know you know that. That's why I told you. I have to aggravate you. Yeah. Can you do that? Do you want any salt? Put a little bit of salt on it. Just a little. Not like what Daddy calls a little. And it's like half the daggone bottle. Okay. No, you don't need to help yourself to any granola bars, Mama. 
Do you think she had anything to eat all day? Mama, we're going to Biscuitville when we get done. Just calm down. You're not getting it. You're getting no. You are not getting sweet tea and a muffin. You're not. Not because I said so. Well, yes, I guess the roles have reversed, haven't they? Because I'm the one driving and I'm the one paying. Now we can please make some grits. It's like having another child, a swanee it is. Well, let me, um, i tell you what. Uh, we have this little table here. Let me move this. I'm going to make a little bit of space here for your grits. I don't know what size bowl she's going to bring in here. Hopefully she'll remember the spoon. But I'm going to slide this back a little bit. Oh, okay, I don't want to knock in anything. So she should have that ready in a minute. Um, we'll get you some grits going. And then I would suggest, you know, have you, so, we, have you taken anything? Well, you should be good for a little bit then. If, you know, Dr. Lynette here, I recommend you have your grits. I would drink a little bit of this water. You need to drink some water. Get some liquids, you know. And, uh, and just try to rest, like maybe turn the TV on low, just something in the background, you know, and just take a little nap. Um, I think that would probably be the best thing you could do. I mean, do you have anything you need to get done today? Any errands at all? Okay, well, if you think of anything, you call me, okay, or text me or whatever. I see your phone there, so you know how to reach me if you need me to go get you anything or do anything. I'd be glad to. Like I say, I don't have any appointments till on over in the afternoon, so I can do whatever you need me to. She says we don't have, she couldn't find any regular grits. There's butter flavor and country ham. How about the butter flavor? Just one packet, just, yeah, I don't think that'll be too bad. And the butter flavor, I think, already has a little bit of salt in it. So, Mama, don't salt it. No, because it's already good. That butter flavor pack is a little salty to me. That's what it tastes to me, though. So, I'd recommend you just have your grits here. Teach your, don't eat them too fast. Have your grits. Just leave the bowl. And just watch something or just have something on. You know, close your eyes and get some sleep. And maybe and if you can get some sleep, you feel better. I hope so, anyway. I really do. I hate to see you dealing with this. That's, that's tough, I know. She's got it in the microwave now. Well, we get along for the most part, but you, you know how it is. I mean, we get on each other's nerves. We like to kill each other every now and then, but we love each other. We do. We don't want to ever say it, but, you know, it's there. So... We only ever say it when there's a family tragedy, because we're not normal. I'm sorry she slammed the microwave. Mama. You don't even know what you did. Quit slamming things. You did too. You slammed the microwave door. God, you don't realize how loud you are. You're like a big old monster just stomping around through the world. Here. Thank you for putting a pot holder under it. Now we do have a pot holder under this thing if you want to pick it up. Do you want it now? Here. I'm going to keep the pot holder under it. Now, oh, all right. I'm going to nestle it here in your blanket like we'll make a little nest for it. <laughs> and the spoon. Okay. So there's your grits. And then when you're done, I want you to just, I've cleared out a spot and just put it right back here on the table and just, just leave it, okay? Me too. After I get done with my appointments, if you want them, we'll come back by and uh, and just check on you. Is that okay? Because I just, frankly, I worry a little bit about some of these headaches you have. And I, I really hope that you will talk to your doctor about it. Because I, I, sometimes I just worry about it. And, and you're here by yourself and I just, I worry about it. So, are you good? Do you have everything you need? I wasn't talking to you, Mom. I know we got to get to bingo. It's okay. So why don't you just go on out to the car? Yeah, that, yeah. Well, she appreciates it. I'll be out there in a minute. 
I should have just tied her out front like a dog. But yeah, I'm gonna, you, you want me to come back by? It'll probably be, it'll be after 6.30 this evening. But if you need me before then, tell me. Because, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm like five minutes away. I can always come back here. Because the shop's just up the road. So you just tell me, okay? Alright, well, I, I, I don't want to bother you anymore. I hope I've been quiet enough. I know the loud sounds are hard. Because um, I've, I've been there, like I say, I know, I understand. But you enjoy your grits, okay? You got your, your medicine here, although you really can't take anything right now. You can alternate the ibuprofen and the generic extra strength, the, the uh, et cetera, migraine. You can alternate those if you need to. I do that sometimes. If I have a really bad headache. Um, got your thing on your neck there, the cold press, and you can do another one too if you need to. I do have that, have that extra bit of water there for that. And you're drinking water here in your in your Elmo cup. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, we'll go. But I hope you feel better. And um, let me know if you need anything. And I will be back to see you later, okay? <laughs>